my screen yes yep okay yep yeah so the talk is how to spy on your data with snitch i should have called it inline defs on steroids um so i'll start with who, who i am i'm abhinav i i'm from india i've been programming in closure for about 7 months professionally and I think i started learning it about 1 year ago 7 to 8 months professionally so i'm quite fascinated with macros and my first talk was on closure macros and now i'm going to talk about this so how many of you have seen code written like this so i have seen code written like this and thing is you have to add all these print statements and then you have to remove them and it's quite painful to do that and sometimes you might you know even push it in production that's very common i'm sure many of you have done that even i've done it and the problem with print statements is so a lot of people use print statements um as you can see in a very informal survey um about 80% of you use print statements instead of a debugger and there are downsides to print statements like you can't it prints out everything as a string you can't interact with strings um if you print out a map you can't call any map functions you don't have the power of the repl so we can do better and one technique which is common is an inline def so uh, people use inline defs even doran says that he uses inline defs like 99% of the time and uses prints but there's an issue with inline defs also because then the code looks like this where you have injected inline defs inside this and you you will have the same problems that you have to write inline defs every time you have to remove them after you're done and you might forget to remove them also unless you have a linter involved so i think we can do better and the solution is a macro of course i'll i'll show you the demo okay can you see my terminal yep we can okay all right so this is a small web app and middleware handler routes so the library is called snitch and it has a macro called defin star which is a drop in replacement for um your normal function definition so let's take this handler change case and we add, we add a star we evaluate it and we'll run the app so you get a result outside but now these two variables this context and case function and name they're all defined and so i can evaluate case context you'll get the context here you can evaluate name get the name here and inside the let also i can evaluate case function to get the name of the function i want so this automates the whole process of adding inline defs for you and it's quite easy if you want to remove them you just clear it off now in some cases you would want to see the return value of this function and you can append a left angle bracket to the name of the function and you can evaluate it so this returns the result of the function that's one feature of this the other thing is let's say you we want to make a change to this we want to um the result we want to change it to something like string capitalize capitalize and if you would want to test this out we would have to you know run this path again but or you could say that hey you want to reconstruct the function call 
now because since you already have the variables defined you can reconstruct it but if you see this map there's a lot of destructuring going on here and to construct the map which you will pass to this is painful and hairy so one way is you just take the name of the function you append the right angle bracket and you evaluate it so this returns a list which is the function call it's a, it constructs a function call for you then you can paste it and you can run it so as you can see it has capitalized so it it gives these are three main features of snitch i especially like this part of reconstructing the function call and you know you can use it to if you have a functioning program and you don't have tests for it you can you know run the program sort of instrument it and then write tests with it i'm not saying that you should do that i'm just saying it's possible now besides a defn star there are three other macros in snitch there's a star let a star fn and a def method star so it comes with four macros in total so star let can is useful in the case where you have a test like this where you define define variables in the let block and then you run two three tests so you can't directly call okay that was because it was already defined my bad but if you, so if you do this then it it um you know, all these variables get defined so you can easily run these tests to see where the issue is so for example this has a bug in it so you can make changes and quickly test things out and now um if you have a lambda function it's common to have a lambda function in maps and things so you can add a star fn when you evaluate it uh these local variables get defined the only downside is it will be the last value of the last value that was run because it's run multiple times so x has the value of 4 because the last value in range 5 is 4 now if you saw in this defn star you could get the end result by appending a left angle bracket a right angle no left angle bracket you can do this with the lambda function as well by calling this so this is a convention so calling any lambda function this it, it, it's a convention to do that so you can do it or you can for the purposes of debugging you can name the lambda function like this and you can then call double and you get the end result of this so this is pretty much the features of snitch um now even typing this every time in every namespace you go to is painful so i have a an editor macro which uh, automates this process so for example if i if i want to instrument this function i can just type add a rate of and s as you can see it the editor just injects it on top and evaluates it for me so i can go and instrument it so there's almost no friction to so sort of instrumenting and adding in line defs to a function and that was something that i was looking for in some that in uh, to do these things for me you can you don't have to add this as a dependency in your as a main dependency you can add it in your line profiles.clj 
So this is my line profiles at CLJ. And since this is a macro, it also works with Closure Script. So you can add it in your Shadow CLJS Eden as well. Huh, that's about it for the demo. Now, why should you use Snitch? Obviously, there's Cider's debugger, which is great, Calva's debugger, and even Cursor is there. So it's highly ergonomic for Apple-driven development. I've used this as my sole debugger for the past seven months. Uh, NeoVim does not have a debugger, so I've had to rely on this heavily. It is editor agnostic. So whichever editor you use, you can use this along with that. And you know it, it, you can use it along with your editor's debugger. You don't have to replace your editor's debugger. And also, um, CIDR does not have support for closure script, which Snitch does. So that's another reason you should use it. Um, but I would have to say that I don't use closure script on a day to day basis. So I'm not sure. I'm so I, I don't encounter bugs in closure script because there are slight differences between closure and closure script. For the most part, it does work. I do have tests that I run for closure and closure script, but it's just a warning that some things might break. So the downsides of using Snitch are globally defined variables. So if you have two functions with the same variable name, then you know the value of each of the variables will be the last one that was last when the function with the function that ran last, it will that will be the value for it. So it can get confusing. And also things might break because I'm it's still under active development. It's stabilized now. Snitch has stabilized now for the most part, but you know you might experience things that break. That's it. Uh, thanks. A special thanks to Faris for helping me out with some aspects of this talk, and also Zach for ha having me.